morning, good afternoon, or good night, my fellow Achievements. Today, I'm here to bring all of you the weekly anime review of Snow White with the red hair. We get more romance progression where the last episode left off, and depending on how you view the Shiraiyuki and Zen ship, most likely you're giddy and jumping for joy while watching this episode, because... This episode serves two different romance progressions. For one, the Zen and Shirayuki romance just continues on trucking. Like, the, that romance has just grown over proportion. The ending of it, beautiful. The kiss, I loved it. And then you have another scene that hints at Obi falling in love with Shirayuki. Now, we kind of all assumed, probably already, that... Obi was somewhat infatuated with Shirayuki. But seeing how he looked at the hand of Shirayuki in this, when he looked at her hand, he was like contemplating if he wanted to grab her hand. It shows you he does have romantic feelings. And so I wonder where the story is going to take that. Because with the episode, it feels very weird for them to showcase this romance path with Obi and Shirayuki. But then continue the romance with Shirayuki and Zen. Because Shirayuki admits that she loves Zen. Like, she admits that. Like, she's fallen in love with him. And so, Obi cannot possibly be with Shirayuki. So, he just got kind of, like, friend-zoned. He's shunned out. And, and that kind of saddens me a little bit. Because Obi's a good character. But to see him like that, of how he was trying to probably start a romantic relationship... I wonder if you'll be able to find anyone for himself, because Shirayuki is taken. She's with Zen, and Obi has feelings for her, and I wonder if that's going to lead into some form of drama in the future, because Obi might not liking the way Zen handles Shirayuki's situation, because we do know with the relationship with Shirayuki and Zen, this is going to cause it to where there's going to be politics and, uh, and royalty and stuff like that, not really liking Zen's decision, because... Let's face it, Shirayuki, the only thing she really has going for her, besides, you know, what we know. Like, us as a viewer already know why Shirayuki's a great character. But if you're, like, part of royalty and you're higher up in officials and stuff, you're going to look at Shirayuki and say, like, okay, so all she has going for is her red hair. And she is a herbalist. That, that, that's what she is. And that's usually what majority of people would probably think when they think of, you know, Shirayuki. They would probably think that Zen is going after Shirayuki just because of her hair color and because she looks pretty. I think that's what majority are going to think, which is going to lead into a lot of issues because when it comes to a prince of a kingdom, they usually need to marry someone that is higher up in status to be able to further the growth of the economy and the country in general. For instance, usually there would be political marriages to where like someone like Zen would be married off to a faraway princess maybe three to four countries down the fucking continent. And if you think about it like that... It's definitely going to cause some issues, and I feel like Ovi, the way his setup was in this episode, he might be some way to kind of be the person that will instigate this drama a whole lot more, or probably settle the drama in a certain way. I feel like if drama does happen between, like, Zen and Shirayuki, like, to where Royalty's coming after Zen and Shirayuki and trying to manipulate them and stuff... I, could, I feel like Obi's going to be the one to step in and probably slap some sense into Zen or Shirayuki and let them see reason. I, I think that's the type of character Obi's kind of developing into after witnessing this episode. But besides that, we also have it to where the birds that were being hunted down for the past episode, well, they got settled and it's all set and fine now. I mean, they are now going to be using the birds for messaging systems, so there's nothing wrong going on there. So that entire plot point and plot line that was introduced was settled with this episode, so we don't really need to worry about that. I do wonder if that girl that was introduced, though, will reappear in the series, or is she just gone? Like, was she just here for a little bit and then just cast it aside? Because her character was kind of cool, and I wonder if that might be the girl to get with Obi in the future. Who knows? So, yeah, episode of Snow White with the Red Hair. Good episode. I enjoyed it. Animation could have been a little bit better, but it was still a good episode. So tell me your thoughts and comments below. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.